Hello and namaste to all. I am Anvesha Goswami and I'm back with another live episode and as we saw in the teaser today's episode is all about rebarring done right. First of all I would like to thank everybody who liked our previous posts our previous like uh, our previous live episodes our sessions and not to forget a special shout out to Mr Parmeshwar Sahu who has been an active viewer throughout our live sessions thank you so much now moving on in day to day scenarios we come across a number of applications such as wall extension floor extension extending a beam through a column or a column through a beam what do we do in such cases we do rebarring so planned or unplanned rebarring is the answer to all your concerns and hence comes the concept of post installed rebar so what is a post installed rebar a post installed rebar is used to connect two concrete members and it is an essential part of any building construction so a rebar becomes a part of the structural design and designing a rebar is as important as designing the entire structure itself बट ये डिजाइनिंग करता कौन है मान लीजिए आपकी ड्रॉइंग में अगर प्रोडक्ट स्पेसिफाइड है द केमिकल इज स्पेसिफाइड देन इट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम बट इन केस द केमिकल इज नॉट स्पेसिफाइड वॉट डू यू डू देन इन इंडियन कंस्ट्रक्शन मार्केट इट्स अ कॉमन प्रैक्टिस टू गो विद द मोस्ट इकोनॉमिकल सोल्यूशन दैट इज अवेलेबल इन द पोर्टफोलियो और दे आर देंडर दैट दिस इज आर लोडिंग डेटा सो गिव मी द मोस्ट एक्ट product as per the loading uh, details but you know what happens after this this leads to a poor design ignorance of safety precautions and measures very poor installation and the list is too too long in most of the cases nowadays we have heard a lot of scenarios wherein the buildings are collapsing due to n number of reasons but ye collapses ho kyu rahe hain डेटा ऐसा बोलता है कि 14,000 बिल्डिंग्स इन अ मेट्रो सिटी लाइक मुंबई आर ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ कोलैप्स एंड यू नो व्हाट व्हाई आर दीज कोलैप्स हैपनिंग एंड वेयर आर दीज हैपनिंग दीज आर हैपनिंग इन दोज केसेस वेयर इन अ न्यू स्ट्रक्चर इज बीइंग एक्सटेंडेड फ्रॉम एन एग्जिस्टिंग ओल्ड स्ट्रक्चर सो क्यों हो रही हैं ये कोलैप्सिस लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस ड्यू टू लैक ऑफ डिजाइनिंग सो so, आप जिस छत के नीचे बैठे हैं वो सेफ है या नहीं ये इंश्योर करने के लिए डिजाइनिंग बहुत जरूरी है एंड इट शुड नेवर बी इग्नोर्ड इन रिसेंट टाइम्स पीपल डू रिबारिंग इन देयर इन हाउस ऑपरेटर्स एंड ऑल्सो हिल्टी ऑफर्स यू द प्राइमरी ऑफरिंग ऑफ डिजाइनिंग योर रिबार्स अब डिजाइनिंग तो हो गई अब इसके बाद आता है आपका केमिकल पोर्टफोलियो आपका रीबार आपके रीबारिंग प्रोसेस में आप कौन सा केमिकल यूज करेंगे ये डिसीजन लेना आज के डेट पे एक बहुत बड़ा टास्क है सो इन द नेक्स्ट टू मिनट्स आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू एंड यू आर गोइंग टू आंसर विद मी विच केमिकल टू यूज इन वॉट काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन सो so, अगर आपने कभी किसी हिल्टी अकाउंट मैनेजर के साथ इंटरेक्शन uh, किया है देन यू मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट एनी हिल्टी प्रोडक्ट हैज बीन कैटेगराइज इन टू थ्री सेगमेंट्स अल्टीमेट प्रीमियम एंड स्टैंडर्ड लाइक वाइज हिल्टी इज रिबारिंग केमिकल्स पोर्टफोलियो हैज बीन कैटेगराइज इन टू थ्री सेगमेंट्स वी हैव द अल्टीमेट सेगमेंट वी हैव द प्रीमियम सेगमेंट एंड देन कम्स द स्टैंडर्ड सेगमेंट talking about the ultimate segment we have two chemicals in ultimate segment we have re500 and hy200 so these chemicals are used in the most critical applications and you can use this chemicals wherein a lot of approvals come into the picture for example fire corrosion seismic etc etc and designing is a must in these chemicals then comes our premium segment we have re100 and hy170 in our premium segment and these chemicals can be used in both 
cracked and uncracked concrete and also in engineered solutions these are a little little cost effective than the ultimate segment so we have re100 and hy170 then comes our standard segment herein we have re10 and hit mm plus re10 is the only chemical we have that comes in hard case covering rest of the chemicals require a cartridge holder when dispensed so these are the most cost effective uh, options that are available in our uh, portfolio and can be used in non critical applications so guys i want you to answer now i'll name the application and you give me the product that can be used let's say we have a very critical application of rock rebarring then which chemical would you go for please mention in the comment section below and in the meanwhile i'll also help you out so in case of rock rebarring uh, it's a it's a critical application and it requires designing so we can go with re500 let's say let's take another example maan lijiye chhajja extension karna hai us case mein aap kaun sa chemical use karenge With, which is mildly critical in that case please mention you you guys please keep on mentioning in the comment section uh, i'll tell you uh, so chhajja its extension is a mildly critical application so we can go with the premium segment products that is hy170 or re100 and also designing is important in this case case as well ab uh, let's say we have a very non critical application for example wall tie extension ya fir lintel extension karna ho aapko to us case mein which chemical can we use please men keep mentioning in the comment section we can go with re10 or hit mm plus so this is all about our chemical portfolio hilti ka chemical portfolio itna hi hai so i guess i was able to help out a bit in this uh domain अब डिजाइनिंग कर ली हमने केमिकल पोर्टफोलियो समझ लिया नाउ द थर्ड मोस्ट क्रूशियल पार्ट इज इंस्टॉलेशन अब एनी रीबारिंग द मेजर क्वालिटी ऑफ एनी रीबार लाइज इन द क्वालिटी ऑफ इट्स इंस्टॉलेशन सो इफ द रीबार इज नॉट इंस्टॉल्ड प्रॉपरली इट डजेंट मैटर वेदर यू आर गोइंग विद अल्टीमेट और स्टैंडर्ड और प्रीमियम अगर रीबार ढंग से इंस्टॉल नहीं हुआ है तो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता कैसे करना है So in the next 5 minutes I am going to show you the right way of installing a rebar here in at Hills Hilti store we are present at the Hilti store First of all I'll gear up with all my safety gears so guys I am doing this demo uh in an indoor location but uh so that's why I'm not wearing a helmet but helmets are important I'll just gear up with my gloves so today I have with me the T50 AVR machine for drilling and the rebar i am going to use today is of 20 mm dia and in the t50 i have the drill bit of size of dia 16 mm all geared up so let's just get on with the demo now i am using depth 200 mm tool working Okay first of all starting on with the demo I'll just like to summarize the steps of any rebarring process So first we do scanning uh in Hilti scanning portfolio we have PS85 PS300 and PS1000X concrete scanners if you want to know more on the scanners portfolio you can log into www.hilti.in or you can fill in the form which is given in the comment section or also you can message me directly and i promise i'll get back to you with all your concerns so we have scanning then we do marking so here i'm doing it with a in a in a concrete block so we don't i'm not doing the scanning part and marking is already done because i don't have any existing rebar in the structure then comes drilling then comes cleaning and the last is injection so i have skipped the first two steps you can do it if you want to scan any existing rebar structures so my place is marked here
so guys the drilling is done i was i had already marked 200 mm depth in the drill bit so after drilling comes the cleaning part so the cleaning involves in any chemical anchoring or rebarring process there are three steps in cleaning blow dry blow dry, uh, dry and brush so blow brush and blow i'm sorry so first of all i'll just move the entire dust from here i'm using the blow out pump which comes in the chemical anchoring portfolio or the rebarring portfolio blow then i'll brush the correct method of brushing is you rotate it and insert it and you pull then you again rotate it you insert it and you pull this is done i'll blow again so blow brush and blow so guys this step is the most integral part of rebarring pro process because if the holes are not cleaned properly the chemical will not bond with the concrete so cleaning is done drilling is done now we'll come to the injection part here i am using re10 and the gun i am using today is the hde 50812 we have hde a22 as well so if you want to go through our a uh, chemical dispensers portfolio you can log into www.hilti.in so before dispensing the chemical you do a try a trial dispenser aap teen bar usko nikal ke to just maintain the flow three presses so this is the this you have to do every time the first time you are using the chemical now how much chemical to dispense here i would like to bring your notice to our one second phones so we have the volume calculator app you can download this application from any uh in app from apple store or uh play store so in this volume calculator app this gives you the entire chemical consumption per hole i have already calculated it for my for the chemical as per the dimensions of the rebar and it is coming to be 25 ml per hole as you can see so uh, and one more thing as you can see the knob here is directed at 25 so i have set the knob here as well to be on 25 now i'll tell you why do we do that so in any other chemical dispensing guns which come in the market you have to do this manually every time and as a result a lot of chemical gets wasted but here if you set it to this it will dispense the amount of chemical that is required for this particular process so i have already set it to 25 ml i'll insert this to the hole to the entire depth and i'll keep pressing it and jitna main dabaungi ye utna hi dispense karega jitna isko karna hai chemical dispense taking out my rebar and the correct way of inserting a rebar is you rotate it and you insert it so guys as you can see there is no chemical wastage and the rebar is installed as it was supposed to be So this was all about rebarring. 
I hope I was able to give you a very brief glimpse on the entire process of rebarring. The why designing is important, and the portfolio that we talked about, uh, the ultimate premium and standard, and the correct way of installation of a rebar. So this is it from my end for today. I hope I was able to do a bit of justice to this particular topic, rebarring done right. Let's hope that we do rebarring the right way at our job sites. And if I did it, you surely can. So guys, I'll come back in the next episode with some more products, more services, and more offerings from Hilti. And if you have any feedback and if you want to share anything that you faced at your job site, you can mention in the comment section. You can fill out the feedback form which is given below. You can message me directly. And it's my promise to you that we'll get back to you with greater solutions. Thank you and have a very good day.